R2-D2, Your Highness. Star Wars fans to SMKR, this is your host Steve. Up next is Pack 11, issues 41 through 44. As part of my video blog, I like to know what's in each pack. So we'll open this up and have a look. And there we go, we got four issues contained within and the four magazines. I'll be right back. We'll look at issue 41. Here's the magazine for issue 41. This time we get to build Luke's lightsaber. We'll take these parts out, get a closer look at them. We'll assemble this issue. Then we'll look at the magazine. Be right back. Here are the parts as they are contained in the blister pack, and then we get two bags of screws. We get two longer silver screws, three shorter, thin silver screws, three a little bit longer silver screws, and then we get three of your self tapping two by six black screws and some locking pins there should be some locking pins in there here they are right there so just be careful uh, when you go to throw away the bag that all these came in that you remember that these screws are in there also here's a closer look at the parts out of the blister pack we have the grip ridges which is plastic we have the activator which is also plastic we have the stabilizing ring, that's also plastic. And then we have the activator mount, which is plastic. We have the two locking pins that are metal. And we have these very nice turned aluminum parts here. This would be the crystal housing here. And then the blade emitter. So we're going to assemble Luke's lightsaber. And so we will need two more of the turned aluminum parts that we got in the previous issue. And that's these right here. And uh, these are very nice turned aluminum, these four parts. So let's assemble this, and I'll be right back. Here's how the instructions show the lightsaber as it goes together. In the assembly guide, the first step is they have you lay out all the parts that you'll be using to build the lightsaber. Now, don't forget, we do have these nice two pins that came with this issue, and we have the longer screw that came with this issue. Now, we received two new screws with this issue, ones that I haven't seen yet with the build, and uh, I'll show you a close-up of these as I talk about them, but these are countersunk type uh, metal screws, so remember we're attaching plastic to metal. Now, these are uh, threaded into this housing assembly. The housing has threads on it so they fit on there perfectly. So I will be right back and we will begin the build. We will also use some super glue in this build. And this is my super glue of choice. And if you want to speed things up you can use some super glue accelerator or some what we call kicker. So you can see how the housing is uh, threaded for the screws. Now we're going to be using the metal recessed screws. Be careful you don't cross thread them when you put them in. And that's how they go in. Alright, let's get back to the assembly. Step two is to secure these pins onto this assembly right here, DF89, with some super glue. So we'll just take just a little bit of super glue Put it in that groove right there. We'll take our tweezers, pick it up, and 
and it's in place. So that will help lock it in place. Now if you'll see here, there's a keyway on this part right here. And of course that will fit in with that groove. Once again they want us to put some super glue, a few drops of super glue in here. help lock it in and then we'll simply slide that in place and while the super glue is drying I'll just hit it with some kicker that took us up to step four we'll begin on step five and six so we'll put this aside and we'll put the barrel down here next and this is where we will mount this plastic piece here. It's rounded on this side, so it goes over the, the barrel shape. And you can see our screws will be flush mounted in the recess here. These are countersunk. So we'll simply uh, line that up where they need to go. Just like that. And then we will install our screws. And just be careful that you don't uh, cross thread these and I'm just going to start the first one loosely and we will go after the next one it doesn't look like it matters which end is which on this they don't tell us that it does these are as they say the uh, two by six millimeter silver screws countersunk so I just make sure they are tight Now let's look like doing step seven. Once again, we got to add some some super glue to these holes. These have some alignment pins. We'll put that down on top. Lock it in with the super glue, and. There you have it. So we'll go ahead and put this aside. Now we're up to step 9 and 10. We'll go ahead and put the other pin in. We'll put some super glue on here. And we will put the pin down in the groove. Once we have the pin installed, we're going to add more super glue around the edge like we did before and then we're going to install the next one right there and to speed it along we'll just add some kicker that takes us to step 11 now let's look at step 12 Let's assemble step 12. So we need to add some glue to the plastic here. And like always, we'll use the, the kicker on it. There's a keyway here on top. It goes into the keyway on this one. And we'll simply slide it in place. And then we'll take some kicker. Capillary, we'll take it to it. Hold it in place. And there you have it. Here we are all the way up to step 13. Next we'll install the long screw through this very nice turned aluminum part. Like that. Put a screwdriver on it, hold it in place, and then we will take plastic part here, slide that in. So if you look here, all we have is a 
threads left over here. And then that will simply screw in to the base right there. And everything is tight and firm, and it looks fantastic, I think. Very cool. This completes issue 41. Stay tuned for the magazine. I'll be right back. Let's look at issue 41 magazine. And just as before, the contents comprise of building the galaxy, the droid directory, understanding robotics, and build your R2-D2, which is the assembly instructions for this issue. And uh, we'll move through these pages fairly quickly so you can see what the magazine has. Really cool article on the Hailfire class droid tank, which I believe is found in the animated series. And then we have an uh, article about soft robotics. Moving through here, we get uh, more stories on that, future developments, flying uh, soft bots, and then we they give us uh, our parts breakdown, what we got with this issue, which was the lightsaber Luke Skywalker's uh, weapon of choice. Uh, assembling the lightsaber took us through 18 steps, and then we get a preview on what's in issue 42. Here's issue 42. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Happy modeling.